Center to produce multicolored flowers by applying the concept of water transport in a xylem. So all you need for this experiment is two glasses labeled A and B, cutting board, measuring cup, knife, disposable gloves, tissues, food coloring of choice, white chrysanthemums, and water. First, measure 200 ml of water for each glass. Purple food coloring glass A and yellow food coloring glass B until the color is wrong. Use a knife to cut the bottom part of the white chrysanthemum stem at a 45 degree angle. By using a knife, cut the end of the stem into two. Immerse one half of the stem in glass A and the other half in glass B. Leave the flower for some time and observe the movement of food coloring within it. Wait! We are not done yet. yet! Have you ever wondered what would happen if we split the stems into three? A few moments later for a day, this is the result. Like Adriana said, now I'm going to place this flower in a red colored water for a day. One eternity later. Here are the results. Day two. Measure two hundred of ml of ml of ml. Measure two hundred meters of water. Wait, we, we are, are not done, done yet. What's oh. this? <laughs> okay, just think what? Oh, so far. What if I split one half of the stem in uncolored flower? Flower. You sure you can do it or not? I can, I can, I can. Okay, okay, okay. What if? What if? What if we? <laughs> you say good outside and good. What if we leave the. After being immersed in the water. Stop. Yeah,